Ski-Do Link Modular Quick Release System. Link is a modular attachment system for Ski-Do accessories. Link accessories fit other BRP recreational vehicles in addition to Ski-Do's. This 2021 Expedition Sport 600 EFI includes, as standard, the Link 2-up seat. The seat back is easily removable by unlatching the left and right link tabs, then lifting the seat back off the sled, giving the expedition a sportier one plus one look when you don't expect to carry a passenger. Let's take a look at a profile view of the expedition both with and without the seat back installed. The Link Quick Release System is also used for tunnel storage. This expedition has a very long 154 inch track and offers three link positions on the tunnel. This machine has link cleats installed in positions 1 and 2, but does not have link cleats installed in the rearmost position, position 3. The position closest to the seat is called position 1. A short track snowmobile like an MXZ will only offer position 1. Moving further back away from the seat is link position 2. Most Ski-Doo models like Renegade and Backcountry offer positions 1 and 2. This expedition and some of the other long track models also offer position 3 right near the back of the tunnel. If you look closely, you can see that the tunnel is bumped out for the link cleats at positions 1 and 2, but it is not bumped out at position 3. This means that spacing for position 3 is different than positions 1 and 2, so it will only fit accessories designed specifically for position 3. Here we have the 11 liter or 2.9 US gallon link gas can. We can see how the link mechanism works. When we push the link latch, the lower T lock rotates 90 degrees, locking the accessory down in the link cleat. When we pull the latch, the accessory is free to be lifted from the snowmobile. The rubber strap protects the latch from being accidentally disengaged. Installing the gas can is as easy as slipping the left mount under the left link cleat, closing the latch, and securing the rubber strap. It may be the most expensive gas can I've ever bought, but it's damn convenient. One more time. We slide the gas can into place, close the latch, and secure the rubber strap. The gas can is now securely attached to the tunnel. Removing it is just as easy. Pop the rubber strap, open the link latch, and lift it off. This large 62 liter trunk or cargo box uses both positions 1 and 2. It's just as easy to install, but has two link latches, one for each position, and is very secure once latched to the link cleats. One more time. Just like the gas can, we slide the trunk into place and close the link latches. No rubber straps on this one, probably because we have redundancy via two link latches. To remove, just pull both link latches and lift the trunk off. Super easy. The 62 liter trunk offers plenty of cargo space. You can easily fit a folding shovel, emergency supplies, tool kit, food, an overnight bag, and, as it turns out, your camera equipment. The trunk lid closes securely with a single latch. The 62 liter trunk can even have an additional link mount installed on its lid, but the warning label clearly states never to put more than 5.4 kilograms or 12 pounds on the lid. Let's take a look at a profile view of the Expedition, both with the trunk installed, then with the gas can installed. The problem I've run into is that I need the big 62 liter trunk when I'm going on long trips, which is also when I need the 11 liter gas can. But there's no way to fit the gas can behind the trunk. So, I tried placing the gas can behind the seat in position 1, then placing the trunk further back on positions 2 and 3, but it's no good. The odd spacing of position 3 doesn't match the trunk's rear link mount. This arrangement looks terrible, and it won't work anyways. The 11 liter gas can included a pair of link cleats. Let's install them on the 62 liter trunk, just to see how it looks. Now, to be clear, the 11 liter gas can, when filled with fuel, 
will weigh more than double the weight limit marked on the trunk cover. But let's just try it. The mounting hardware, including T-nuts and Torx bolts, were also included with the gas can. The Torx T30 bit was not included. Link mounting holes are not pre-drilled in the trunk lid, but they are marked on the inside of the lid. Drill them out, push the T-nuts through the holes, then bolt down your link cleats. I'm just going to make them finger tight for now. My instinct is that the plastic trunk lid doesn't have the strength to retain the T-nuts with a heavy load on top. That's probably why they limit the weight to 5.4 kilos. Same procedure on the other side. Let's test fit the gas can. It doesn't seem to fit. This is clever design on Skidoo's part. An accessory that exceeds the load limit of the trunk is shaped such that it can't be installed on the trunk lid. We can see that the link latch won't seat properly in the cleat. Let's pull these link cleats off and solve the problem. Skidoo doesn't recommend you do what I'm about to do. They've marked it right on a warning label affixed to the trunk lid. I don't recommend what I'm about to do either, but come check it out. This is my solution. Aluminum reinforcements mount inside the trunk to distribute load. Aluminum risers for the cleats on top of the trunk to make room for the gas can mounts. This is how it will go together. Since there will be less engagement between the fasteners and T-nuts due to the risers and reinforcement plates, I picked up some longer bolts too. Let's put the reinforcement plates and T-nuts through the trunk lid. Then add the risers on top of the trunk. Cleat sits on top of the risers. Then we insert the fasteners. A different angle for the right side cleat installation. First we insert the reinforcement and T-nuts from the underside. Add the risers on top of the trunk. Then we add the link cleat and fasteners. Let's try it out. Gas can fits nicely. Link latches properly, and it feels secure. The trunk opens, but the range of motion is limited. The gas can is easy to remove. Let's torque these down. I'm tightening these bolts to that'll do newton meters, which converts to good enough foot-pounds. Here's a profile view of the 11-liter gas can mounted on top of our modified 62-liter trunk. I can work with this. I need to reiterate, this gas can, when filled, weighs more than twice as much as the weight limit printed directly on the trunk lid warning label. Skidoo really doesn't want you to do this, so you probably shouldn't. Even though our reinforcements will prevent the T-nuts from pulling through the trunk lid, I have no idea if the trunk lid hinge and latch can handle the dynamic load of a full gas can. Having this weight up high will also have an effect on handling. I've taken the sled for a 140 km ride in this configuration and I was very cautious to take it easy over bumps and uneven terrain until I was able to empty the gas can into my main tank. Everything seemed to work out okay on that first ride. One more thing. When the two-up seat back is installed, the gas can won't fit properly. I can force it in place, but I wouldn't ride the sled with the seat back, trunk, and gas can installed.